Hey, it's Brian with Team Aquascape, and it is winter here. We are currently working on a bunch of stuff inside of our retail area. We're building a whole new fish retailing area, some new enclosures. We didn't need everybody there. Specifically, we did not need Greg or Ed. And a big part of what we do is R&D. So I've decided to send those two guys to Brazil. Actually, it's not how it went at all. They said we drew straws. I never saw the straws, but somehow they got to go to Brazil, and I'm stuck here in the cold working on that kind of stuff. They're gonna meet up with our good friends from Genesis ecosystems and check out their operations uh, I've seen some of their work online but pictures never do anything justice and we are so interested on in how they run their business what their design center looks like and we're just gonna dive in there and hopefully we come back with a whole lot of ideas that we can use locally and that you guys too can use locally check it out Alright, we just arrived over at uh, Ricardo and Daniela's house and we are going to check out their incredible water feature here in their front yard. You can see this is a traditional neighborhood over here and then you come up to the front and then you have this little garden space which is just spectacular. Been in for eight years he told us but just a beautiful little design. I mean, I love it. Love how they incorporate in the wood decks. Uh, they did have a little bit of a transition here. So again, very, very typical on properties is the property is sloped and that's because of drainage, rainwater to, to roll away from the home. So what they had to do, they had to come in here with some of this stonework to create a level space to build that water feature. So by doing that stonework, this created a little bit of a raised garden, tucked in some of the different types of plantings. You have that nice little transition from the walking spaces over on the side. We have these beautiful palms to kind of create that big focal point. And it's just kind of creating a hidden little garden space loaded with life. I mean, just look, all the fish down here inside of the water, unbelievable. And then you have the beautiful koi way down over on this side kind of tucking themselves in into the shade, getting out of the tropical sun here in Brazil. Another little uh, entry point over here, completely different viewing area. But just check out this feature. I love the way it just kind of softens up with all the plant material going in and around. And that biological filtration is happening down in here. This is a skimmer system. And here is the filter itself. We have the water coming in. We have a series of brushes. It's got a water fill valve in the corner. Submersible pump is located. We actually have a big old frog kind of tucked inside of here. And we have certain discharge points. You have water kind of coming out of the far corner. We have another little bubbling rock over in here bubbling up from the bottom. Again, this is a traditional ecosystem pond where everything works in conjunction with each other. You got sword tail fish down inside of there. Love to have a tropical pond like this. It's not gonna happen, obviously, in the Chicagoland area. And down here, Brazil, this is living the aquascape lifestyle right here. Check this out. This is an amazing pond. We're here over at Genesis Ecosystems, checking out the features. We got koi up in here. We got beautiful cichlids. I mean, check out these guys. Unbelievable. It overflows down into this biological filtration. This is all phyto remediation. This is heavy aquatic plants. Unbelievable. This appears under the deck. I love this little feature right here. Genesis Ecosystems. This is the design center. This is where it all happens. Check this out. Oh, beautiful, beautiful design center. Love all the plants. Incredible feel. Architects. <laughs> Look at this. Wow. Look at that. Look at the water quality. Full dive, full Unbelievable. Got some beautiful little pergolas, seating areas. Check this out. Oh my gosh, living walls, lush vegetation, water lilies, Vallison area, water disappears underneath here, pops out over on this side, and this is just an incredible garden. It's just got such a great feel. It's about water container over in here, water continues 
back over this way into the skimmer system. This is where he has some mechanical filtration as well as a little bit of biological and his submersible pumps. Ricardo, I just hear a bunch of splashing on that side. He just jumped in. Look at this. Oh, what is this for? That feels good. Is fish in here too? Yeah. Oh, there's a lot of fish in here. Beautiful koi pond, six feet deep. Transitions, we have this beautiful deck going out around the perimeter. This transitions into uh, boulders over at the end, more of a kind of a shallow area. You can see all the fish kind of going up into that little section for feeding. The fish are coming up here for grazing because this is gonna be home. All types of little uh, microorganisms, the algaes and things like that. That's going to be growing in and on this uh, all that surface area here. See the fish coming up out of the deep water. It's been here to graze and to feed. And then you also have some of that movement. So you have a little bit of that oxygen, a little bit of the flow. And the fish love that type of, uh, type of a scenario. Really, really cool. So here's the behind the scenes area of our Genesis. With Fabio right now, he's giving us a little bit of a tour here. Yeah, that's our stock room here. That is the special sand. Ah, the sand oh, yeah. we use in the bottle. I want to go yeah. see the sand. Stock room. Well, yeah. your different you materials, you yeah. PVC, pipes, connections, Bobby, you see me? <laughs> brushes and things up on top, <laughs> you know, fish food. Water plants. Okay, yep. Okay. All the different water plants. Yeah. So these are coming from the farm that we were at this morning. Yes. Yes. You come over here, you stockpile them, you grow them out. And then you bring them over to this area. So look at this, it's beautiful. Little seating areas, outdoor grilling space, overlooking the, the garden. They have their own little private pond up in here. Here's they have some of the boulders. Oh boy, yeah. Look at that sand, wow. That is beautiful. That is a, uh, a really quality product right there, which makes all the difference in the world, um, especially with what they're trying to do. They don't want to have any other sediments or organics that are going to be mixed into it, so it's very, very particular on uh, the type of uh, sand that they're using here. Check out that trailer. Pretty cool. Beautiful facility. Construction yard, a little workshop back over in this section. Indoor storage. They have their rubber liners out here. They got different types of uh, piping up on top where they deliver water into uh, different sections of the pond. They're bagging up the gravel, everything, so they're trying to wash everything, keep everything very accessible. Stacked up the waders, and then we have this beautiful koi pond over here. Check out these guys. Beautiful, beautiful fish. Great selection of koi. <laughs> This little section here really, really is catching my eye. Loaded with fish, tons of biological action. We have good water flow coming in. So this is acting as the skimmer basically for this entire pond. So we have this upper pond, water cascades over into this little pool. This connects into the uh, skimmer filter, which is underneath the deck over here where the pumps are located. But this is really scrubbing the water. The diversity of life in here is incredible. I mean, all the little fish swimming around. We have this beautiful Pontidaria, Colocasia. Uh, we have Malacinaria, we got uh, Nymphia, we got water lilies inside of here. We got arrowheads. So all of these different plants growing in the bottom, growing in that medium, pulling out nutrients, pulling out the nitrate, um, acting as a mechanical as well as biological filtration. This truly is mimicking a natural ecosystem. And I love it. Then up here, we got all these cichlids and stuff down in that sand bottom going across the bottom. 
all that lush vegetation around the perimeter, just creating a really, really cool, unique setting. And then on the other side, here, we have the main pond. That's a little bit deeper. That has arowana. That has some of the bigger fish inside of there. But uh, I love this little one. This is just an incredible nursery of life. I mean, loaded, loaded, loaded with all types of little fish. And they're just feasting on all the microorganisms that are actually, this is the heart and soul of the system. This is really what's making it function. Got out from swimming in here. Just beautiful. This actually reminded me of our Columbia expedition. So going uh, La Primavera Urbana, um, swimming around with all the big fish, the arapaimas, arowanas, and all the different fish, the paku, um, uh, jamu, uh, all, all the different uh, native fishes in, of Colombia. And here we are in Brazil doing the exact same thing. This is just otherworldly. I mean, why anybody would want something other than this, I really don't know why you would want a traditional swimming pool when you have access to something like this with that type of life. You really have to experience it for yourself to truly understand and appreciate it. I love the designs of all these different things. This little bit biological filter with a little bubbling water coming up in here, little sand area. Fish are gonna come into this little zone. You got some smaller fish as a nursery. I mean, just check out all these little guys. Just kind of tucked in and around that vegetation. Check this out, got an alligator gar inside of here. But this is creating that little nursery effect. So smaller fish are gonna be in here. Um, water's gonna be slightly warmer because it's shallower. You got the arowana, you got this top predator coming in. He's gonna feast on all these little fish, but it's all an ecosystem. So you got some of these small fish, I can see them grazing down here. So they're feeding on some of the algae and the microorganisms that are living on the stone. Then you've got some of the larger koi, they're gonna feed as well. But then you have these apex predators. We have the alligator gar, we have the arowana. They're gonna come in and they're gonna eat all these little fish so they're just constantly breeding eating each other just this incredible cycle of life that's actually happening right here genesis ecosystem mi casa su casa yes <laughs> this is their little country property that uh, they raise aquatic plants at ship fish from koi fish and this is his future home site you talk about somebody that's really got the tiger by the tail 20 acres that he has here he dug all of these ponds in the last two years created a little sanctuary and a paradise out here pond contractors are universally cool people Ed and i couldn't be having a more fun time learning how they do things down here in brazil and bringing some of the ideas that we have to them as well yeah I love my job.